Hey guys, this is Crap Hunter. Joining with me is Rexasaur. Hey guys. And we are going to be having our first impressions of Severogorsk, if I've said it correctly. Huzzah! Yes, this is the new map for patch 8.7 of the World of Tanks game. And I am in my medium tank, and Rexasaur is in his M7 medium tank. Yay! Because um, the whole impetus of this is we're going to have a look-see if um, m the mediums... Because this apparently map is supposedly good for medium tanks to scout tanks. So Rexasaur and I thought, why not both? Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, before we start... What were your initial thoughts as to this map, uh, Rex, when you first heard of what it was going to be and what uh, rumours it was going to have? When I first, the first um, thing that I saw was um, Jingles um, doing a little map review during the test server. Oh uh, yes. Yeah, and when right. I saw that, I was like, "Oh God, this is going to be one of those maps," because um, it looks a lot like El Halouf um, mm. in the fact that there's two hills opposite each other. And that is what yeah. we're doing right now. We're going to go each on each other's side of the hills to see if we can spot each other from each of the hills. Cool. I'm going to be on my cap circle area. So, are you going to go to your cap circle area and start sp spotting me from there? No, that's not at all what you're supposed to do. You're saying you go at E2 on your hill. Oh, E2. I thought you said go to our cap zone. No, right. I'm going to yours. You're going to mine. That sort of thing. Like, ah, I'm going to try and see if you... I can speak see you English my... next time, then. I will. I'm sorry, my Americanness is just too much. I know. It's I don't even know how far I can see in this thing. Um, I will note that this is not the best of spotting distances. I don't know, actually. I've got this thing can see a relatively d good distance. Indeed. Anyway, yeah. So uh, me and Crapper did do a uh, first impressions video before, but a it was like an hour long, and b yeah. it was it sort of the audio fucked up a little bit. Yeah, so. I, I figured out what the problem was with that, so luckily that won't happen again. It turns out if I record under a hundred gigs, the audio and everything seems to lag behind. I don't know why it just does. It is odd. I will be honest with you. I don't know why it does that. Okay, so I am currently at E2 to E3. Cool. I am at F7. F. Seven, right. Okay, so you're basically just on the edge. Yeah, literally, I am. <laughs> right. Um, can you see me? Because I, I am can't not... see shit. Are you behind a bush? I'm no, not. no, no. I'm, I'm pretty. If you can, right. I'm, I'm by the clearing next to the tree. Keep your eyes peeled on the left-hand side. There are of... so many trees, man. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say it's not easy to spot. Um, I'm on the. If, from your perspective, I'm on the left-hand side, and you should see a couple of trees. Falling over now. Oh yeah, hello. There, you, do you see that? I'm well, I there. Saw, I saw. I can't see you, but I can see the trees falling right. over. Right, the tree to the right of that should be going down. Yeah. Now. Should be going down now. Yeah. I am here, and I'm stuck. Ow! You hit me. <laughs> right, never mind. Obviously, you need bigger view ranges for that. Yeah. Right, stay problem. there a minute. I can't. I'm. I, well, I'm trying to, but currently I'm stuck on the hill. Uh, I blew up my track, so uh, give me a sec. Yeah, no, I I'm trying to get up to. Yeah, I live. Right. I still can't see you, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying out something. Ah, uh, get away. Right. Trying to see if I can spot you. I broke my tracks. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh, you can see me. I can't see shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and see Oh, now I can bridge. see you. Hello. Bang, bang. There you go. Ah, oh, I hit a bridge. Right, so from the... From, you know that building behind you, the, the massive, the two-story building which I'm going to shoot yeah. at there. That's when I started seeing you from okay. my distance. So cool. probably most scouts and possibly higher tier vehicles will see us, will see each other on the other side of that hill. Yeah, I'm assuming that. Yeah, l like like last time when we um, mm. did it. I'm assuming scouts going out here will spot enemies on that side, yeah. well, where you are basically for my side, and we'll just then it'll just be a, a El Hulu firefight. Yeah, I hope it isn't going to be as stagnant as well, El Hulu. Because it's there's much, it's much better in the middle. I'm, I'm hoping, like uh, we said, light mediums um, will probably, or fast mediums will probably do Ooh. better. I've lost sight of you now. Yeah, it's because I buggered off. I'm coming behind you. No, I, I, I there you are. Uh, See. Hello. Right, yeah, because when you went over there, you disappeared for a bit. So yeah, that's a good visual. But no, yeah, I get what you mean. I mean, I'm, I, I, I like. I like the design of this map because it's a lot. F 
I would say it has a lot better chances of nothing, ha like, you know, not being an El, El Haluf. But I don't like the fact that this isn't well, like an El Haluf. Yeah. It, I mean, it's similar, but I don't think it will be because of just that there's vastly more terrain. And it's yeah. going to be a lot more... Because El Haluf, you just had two hills and then oh, a ditch. Yeah. Well, I here you that. have two hills surrounded by many places where Arty can go, ditches everywhere, and mm. buildings where you can hide behind. Some of them destructible, some of them not. It looks much more skilled. Yeah, it, do, it, it would appear to be so. Oh, Rexasaur, um, shall we show them the Easter egg? Oh, yes. Right, race you down. I'm going to break my tracks. Whee! Oh, I didn't! Ah, I heard your tracks go! Oh, crap. <laughs> 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 yeah, you were saying? Do, do, do. Die, truck. No, not, not the truck. No, you don't. Pop. Look, it's a Zeus gun. Bang, the mighty Greek god has fallen. <laughs> right, so, a part, a part, a part, a many of you guys may have heard that there was a little secret Easter egg on um, in this map. And if you come to this corner here, on, I think it's yes, E5, F5. or E5 is it? Oh, it's E5. the edge of F5. Just, yeah. just, e, just yeah, the e e edge e of E5. Zoom in, and you'll no doubt spot the silhouette and the little spherical turret of a Sturm Tiger, little cutie. Now, what this means, we're not entirely sure. It could mean that um, War Gaming is planning. Hey, um, War Gaming is planning on releasing this tank to the wild. I would love it if it did, because let's face it. Imagine this thing. Imagine if that was a TD. That will. Pro I'm thinking it will be. I'm thinking it might replace um, either the third or the Yugged Panzer II. That, or it'll be a premium. Or it'll be yeah, actually a premium for me. Yeah. Tier eight or yeah. tier nine. Uh, well, yeah, only tier eight, unless unless they implement tier nine premiums, which I highly doubt. I'm you thinking tier eight. Oh. Or it's gonna be a shitty tier four. How, How did I? I d <laughs> 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 How? I don't know. I was driving really slowly. <laughs> I still took two damage off you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Oh, screw <laughs> you! Look at that. Oh, well, great! Now I've got a hole. I've got an extra hole to put the gas out of. Right. Uh -huh. Anyway, so this is the town I'm center. Um, which, if if you if you if you'll um, bear with me for any of you guys out there, what this ta map kind of reminds me of is a bit of a merger of two. On the outside side of parts of this map, you've got an El Hulaf style um, environment, but on the inside, like for example here, there's a little bit of en enskness in it, isn't there? I'm thinking it Enk is a bit and, like um, Lakeville. I'm thinking, oh, because Lakeville is on, that the on one? Lakeville. Is that the one with the train in the middle? No, that's not Lakeville. Oh, that was um, that's Lakeville Park, is the one where you've got the you've got uh, the. Wait a minute. No, yeah, I am thinking of completely the wrong one. Um, not Lakeville. I can't remember what it's called. Fisherman's Bay. No, it is ah. Lakeville. Fisherman's Bay is the one I was thinking of. Yes, Fisherman's Lake, Bay. Uh, no, no. Lakeville is the one where you've got uh, the lake in the middle, and yeah. then you've got the city on one side, oh, yeah, and then you've got a path on the other. It's a bit like that, because you've got your city mm. sort of in the middle, Warp. and then you've got hills uh, where you can shoot into the city from. Yeah, true. That is a good. That is true. We can. Act, there is that as well. Oh, by the way, um, I'm going to make this a bit of a tradition. Let in! Back. Yeah, they start a tradition of killing Lenin every time. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is on this side you've got two, you've got non-destructible houses. So you killed you've the got bus, you bastard. I know. It's, it's it's a tradition. You killed the bus, killed the Lenin. Oh. Um, there is a bit of a little oh. bit of <laughs> a little bit of sneaky cover here because if you notice, if I mean obviously if you technically what you could do, I, I reckon that some people might take cover here, and no, um start shooting from this perspective so that's quite cool um, then you've got on so on this side you've got that on the other side which we'll get to well first of all we'll go up to the this part of the um, point so also we, what we haven't talked about which probably is quite important to um, any other tanker out there is the scumbag locations um, as, you're scum, me. as you're as you're a scumbag yourself because you know for some reason you were tainted and I think you've got a bit of problems with you. As you have a scumbag ideal, you might have a better understanding of where you would be as if you were artillery. Right. So, Mr. This Rexasaur. is uh, Rexasaur's scumbag location um, tactics. <laughs> I'd recommend scumbags 
you uh, friendly scumbags out there. Tread carefully with what you say next. <laughs> Be very specific um, on where they are so that the normal tank players can see exactly yeah. where they're going I to would, be. <laughs> I would say you will not see any scumbags near the cap zones. You will not see them there because it takes a long time to move from the spawn point to the cap zone. Especially in most scumbags are really slow, except for the new tier uh, five, tier six, tier six uh, British, uh, one. British medium, yeah, which was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's pretty so awesome. I, I, do, say. I would say if you follow moi, do do do. Oh, look at you, you fancy French accent. <laughs> is that is that a scumbag word they taught you? Moi. Well, French scumbags are some of the best ones out there. Oh God. <laughs> Technically, more people go for Germany, but whatever. Yeah, because they got bigger guns. Exactly. But they got French are really fast firing bigger guns, so. I will be honest with you. I will be honest with you, and I'm probably going to end up having to like you know, punish myself for saying this. I am impressed with the ability pr abilities of the French scumbags. The ability for them to pack up, move on, and get to another location relatively quickly. Here's one, right here. Also noting TD spots. I'm going to just say. Yeah, um, this is long this is. I'm, yeah, this I is. Wouldn't I would this probably is, say that this uh, is much yeah. more scumbag than TD. Well, for me, as a TD player, I probably, I you probably will. And I'm, this is what I'm kind of anticipating. You probably will see maybe a couple of TDs here because you've got. Don't forget, you've got enemy. You've got people. There probably be scouts coming up along this line, so probably people will go here. You've also got sight linings yeah. of the water tower over there. Finally, you've got a good sight line on maybe a couple of um, positions to the left. If you're a a scout tank with a very good gun, so like an ELC, that is mm. a wonderful place to do some passive scouting. Yeah, true. ELCs um, are really good tanks, I will be honest with you. They're, yeah. the, they're the gem at the end of the shitty tunnel. <laughs> that is very true. But yeah, so this is one huge scumbag place. Yeah, um, definitely. I would say that, that bush back here, that one right there, and uh, this set of bushes here. What about that um, that hill to the left of you? Um, oh, hang on. Check out this ditch. Look at check it out. And the doghouse. Three, yeah, two, I know. One. But Bye, well, guys, the, the only issue of this ditch here is that you've got a freaking huge ditch. Like, got a hole there. Oh, there's another bit of uh, Hobbit's hole there. Oh, the uh, Hobbit is, this is a Hobbit's concentration camp, if you didn't know. But yeah, so uh, because of... What the hell is happening to my... Uh, because of this... Uh, you won't see much RT. However, going back here to these bushes would be amazing. However, also, so if say you got RT here, shoot one shot. You got a one minute reload, especially high tier. Hide mm. behind this ditch. No RT can get you. Remember that, guys. Artillery may move up towards the front that that hill there. So when they shoot, move to cup, move in and try and knock them out. Yeah, if you're if you're one of the high tier RTs, um, I definitely would recommend this place because this place, now that I look at also, it, is absolutely wonderful. You've got a really high firing arc, and then if you you just move up to this and you can't get hit by enemy RT for your one minute reload, and then you move back, and that's nice. Also, you've got a nice firing line onto uh, the hills. Should your team fall. And you, you know, from that hill there, then, um, you know, there we go. <laughs> That's my recommendation on this side. You seem to be enjoying this way <laughs> too easily. Yeah, um, so I, I, I think we should go through the middle while we go to the other side for the other side RT. We should go through the middle and talk about the scouts in the middle. Right. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll go through the riverbed. That way they'll get to yep. see it as well. So, yes, there is another feature of this map, which possibly the M7 may get through before me. Um, I don't know. Um, is is that there is a big ass riverbed which is probably going to be a scout man's heaven. However, there are obstacles and natural defences which will cause problems. For example, the rivers. Um, when I was trying to drive through here with an ELC AMX, it did slow me down. Um, you've also got down. natural cover of rocks. So if you are in a position but you're being shot at. You can take cover. By the way, can I ask you, Rex, for you to uh, take cover behind that rock to see if your tank is covered enough? So, as you can see, Rexasaur actually has a very good hull down perspective there. That's not bad. Let me think. Oh, think oh man, I can actually it. get through the. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, actually... medium tanks. Let me just see if my medium tank can Wow, get a good I can hold... actually see those logs and, like. Well, this is a really good hold down place for an M7. Yeah. Um, you're gonna I think you it. could fit down there as well, actually, really could well. I? Could I fit down there? Oh, I can as well. Defo, you yeah. go to the other side, see yeah, if it you've actually got, is... You've got, you've got a lovely hold down place Yeah, as well. I can actually see. Is, is only my turret exposed? Wait, let me just come down as if I was coming down. 
I can only see your I can see the your butt <laughs> because you haven't yeah there we go that's a side scrape there I can't get you from that if I even try try it ricochet uh, ricochet if uh, I can only see your turret yeah sweet so medium tank spot um, also, just spotted another one to the left of this perimeter. However, the only disadvantage, of course, it looks you like you, it looks like you can actually park it in. Check it out. Yeah, that's it's really nice. Um, um, one I thing about this, only got this rock on the right, the issue is What's you've that? got the hill over there. However, yes, that is true. That said, if you look, you have a whole building, and the only place they can get you is if they get into one little gap between the building here. What you and that's like whereabouts is that again? If you would like to point so the audience can ah, it's um, ow, between the that chimney. Oh fuck! Get off! Get off. <laughs> between the big, uh, the like the toll post. Oh, there hang on, I see and it. The I see chimney it. here. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah, I can see if it. If someone gets on that, they can also, get you. Also, to like the, the right of the position, there are those trees. I'll shoot it just so you can see. Bang! Over. Oh, yeah. missed there. You can see where I've made the crater. That also, I think. If I'm close enough, yes, enemy tanks can still see me from that position. So you can. Oh, I'm lagging. There we go. Right. As I was saying, if you can see up there, there is enemy positions. Are you still there, Rex? Yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, I thought I was going to lag out and you were going to go off um, Skype. No, no. Um, okay, so let's continue downwards. Um, yeah. So as we go, um, I would I would like to point out, as you can see, there's a lot of defensive positions there for for any scouts. But here. On the other side, like this is the center. Other scouts here, they've got this one rock, and on that side, you have no cover whatsoever. So, really being an aggressive scout on this side, you can hold up to have defensive mm. if you come up from also, the north. Also, to note, the, uh, the advantage that those guys get um, is the fact that if they want to get to cover quickly, because I'm just noticing, if you're a fast medium, if you're a fast scout tank and you can drive your car or tank or whatever. Um, <laughs> yes. Did you know that these things are also known as cars? Um, no. You can notice here that there's a there's a lot easier to climb up that bit of the hill, which yeah. allows you to escape through the the bushes over to there. Um, if you guys are wondering, these logs do cause blockages and can slow your tank down. As you can see, my tank is all right because it's a medium, but for loud for light oh, tanks, oh, blah, blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. exactly, <laughs> it can cause problems. Um, let's have a look. See. So, whilst we are going through the riverbed. Once again, also to note, small, smaller, lighter tanks may have problems with the water. I don't know if you're yeah. having any difficulties Lodge, with it. No, I'm not having that much. I am having a little bit because I'm quite small, but mm. I'd recommend not going through them, like trying to invade them. Yes, exactly. Here is, I believe, the most exposed part of this area. Um, mm. I think if you're an enemy scout coming from the t north, I think it's the same up in the north as well. Yeah, this if you're is coming, if you're exposed. coming from the south, you have to play aggressive. You cannot play a defensive Me scout north. there. If you're the, if you're from the north, from where you started, sorry, hmm. um, you can definitely play defensive. Like if because the southern scouts Ooh, going through the I riverbed fit? need oh, to well. never stop. And here is the other side of this area. There are still logs about. I didn't think I could get through that bridge. Um, I reckon a TD spot <laughs> here because look at the amount of bushes. Yeah. If you get yeah counter stuff, actually yeah the TD, it'll probably stay there. Um, oh hello, Rex. Either go for it, yeah. Oh hello, yeah. Look, I I I thought I did, but if I back up enough, yeah, I have a sight line on that cl on that causeway. Bang over yep. there. Yep. If you can see what I'm talking yep. about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And this is a nice place. So if you got, if you're a fast TD, what's a fast TD? Uh, uh, um, um, Hellcats are fast TD. Um, also to know you've got, I don't know actually. I don't know many fast TDs. No, I, I reckon, really I reckon TDs, leopard tanks will also be quite good because I know they're not. I know they're not TDs, but yeah, they have but, got an um, amazing if you get, good gun. Yeah, if you if you stand here, see if there's any enemy scouts come through, and then when the, when you know where the enemy is, you can stand where Crap Hunter is right now. Uh, shoot down the causeway, and then if they get through, you can always protect your. Um, your cap zone because you'll be right next to it. Another little feature to note, which probably should have mentioned at first, but what we're amateurs, don't go e go easy on us, is the fact that you're not actually going to spawn on your cap zone. Even though this is a standard battle, it's not. You're not going to spawn on your cap zone. Instead, you're where Rexasaur is. You will spawn in E uh, H9 to yeah. H8 all the way over to there. JH, and I am going to be spawning B3. Yeah. To 
A, B1 or whatever. So generally speaking, the both teams are put in a different circumstance. Now, the only bit that I ever questioned about this is the fact that both teams can access the enemy team's flag much faster. I I'm think, not too certain yeah, why the reason, they went with the that. The reason I think they did that is uh, because if you get El Hello, if you start on your cap, so you have time to just, you know, camp your cap. Well, here you can't really do that. You have to... You're going to have to both rush the enemy cap and your cap, thinking, you know, if no one of the enemy goes to their cap, then you've got an easy cap. However, if you leave your cap, maybe they'll cap quick, and then you're like, oh, damn it, we lost. Cap, cap, cap. Cap, cap. There was a lot um, of cap. Also, artillery zones, once again, for this side. Go be your scumbag self. Oh, okay. That we have to go on the other side of the map for this. Back Not to H9. Oh, H9, of course, yes. There are... I will note as well, if as an outside player um, on this thing... Would you agree that there are occasions where? Oh, by the way, before we go up, before I say, not say more, uh, distractible cover. Yeah, there's a lot of cap it. zones. Um, like I was saying, um, would you agree though that some artillery players might go to the cap zone to camp there? Still, would you I agree? no, no, I don't. I definitely don't think they would. They're not fast enough, and that would be a waste of at least five shots. Really? Yeah. It's it. I, I don't think you realise how slow some artillery is, especially the higher tiers, and you just broke your track. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> and you just broke your track. Lol. <laughs> it's like you're in a news person. It's like, and a person has crashed their car. Lol. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, yeah, artillery, especially higher tier artillery, really slow, and if you relocate straight to the cap, you will waste at least five shots. Potential shots that you could have taken out top tier tanks or something. But theoretically, so, true, but then wouldn't you... Well, I would argue the case that if you didn't know where they were... Yeah, but um, you've got scouts for that. Oh, true. Right, so here we are at the southern cap, and as you can see, once again, we have a tree line here for long-range um, higher tier RT. Definitely would spot there, and then once again, you've got a small... It's not as good as the northern artillery bit, but you've still got a nice little ditch here. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this one here, mostly because you don't have a, a sight onto the enemy spawn cap, uh, spawn point or cap at all. So uh, don't go this way. Um, but if you've got not that much um, range, you're going to have to go quite a bit closer, uh, mostly towards where I am now at H7, around that area. Probably, uh, I don't know, here maybe, I don't know, my grill definitely doesn't have any range, so... I have to get even closer, which is a bitch. Mm. Yeah, that's my... Um, also, one final thing. In case any of you guys were looking at this either from greedy eyes or um, excited eyes, um, you cannot camp there, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, this, that island there is actually split in half by um, the end of the map. I'm drowning. I am fine. I cannot go further than here, look. I am absolutely stuck. There is no red mark, which is a bitch, but yeah, so I'll just test that out for you. Hopefully you won't drown and... Oh no, I'm drowning. <laughs> oh no, I'm drowning. Anyway, so, um, let us now go to the other side of... No, we were on that side, weren't we? Yeah, we've, we've done pretty much it. I think we should follow this, my, the hill line of the southern. Um, yeah, um, I was just yeah, thinking, because we, haven't, show gone, we the... haven't gone... We haven't quite... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, let's go this way. I was going to say, we haven't quite shown the other side of the town. So once we got down from this side of the hill, we'll go to the um, F5 uh, and E5. Yep. So yeah, um, this is probably where most vehicles will be. Now, here's um, a question for you, which is actually going to be quite an interesting one. Where do you think the slugfests are going to be? Uh, hey, hey. Personally... On a, I don't think this actually allows slugfest zones. I think it's very possible that we'll get a slugfest either near both the caps, like uh, as a defensive slugfest. But I wouldn't say there'd be a pr like a implement like in um, sacred, not sacred bay, um, in Pearl River. Uh, Pearl River, when you've got the northern bit, it's the slugfest zone. But I don't think you have one of these. Oh, well, there's a little flank section over here if you're a key eye scout. Mm. Very tiny. I reckon your scout tank will probably do better than my one. Yep, definitely. Yep. Um, this but, comes uh, out yeah, onto this, a flanking this area. Point. Um, this bit of the hill has actually more places. 
Uh, very good for nice, nice destruction of the uh, patrol tower there. But it has so many small areas where you can just take mm. out the enemy, um, like defenders from behind or the side or whatever. You can whatever. also have a few shots on the enemy flag from here, actually. Yeah, you got um, nice shots. That, then. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. I've got, I just had like a nice set, set, set of shots over there. Um, once again, foliage and cover seems to be quite thick around certain perimeters, but all of which is destructible around the enemy cap zone. So that is a bit of a, of a relieving aspect. Whereabouts are you? Now, sadly, I haven't got much of a TD's experience on new maps. I'd kind of have to play the map and see what everyone else does for a while before I have a 100% yeah. honest attitude. But I reckon the higher hills point also to note, if you're a defensive player, where I'm aiming at and probably where Rexasaur is going to. Oh, hello. Um, what? Can you see me from there? No, I can't, actually. Lovely little hill there. Yeah, defensive. Yep. Oh, shoot. I am. <laughs> No! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, that was close. Get out of my cap zone. Oh, sorry. I'm going to win the game otherwise. Um, oh, no. Imagine if that happened in real life. Just get out of our cap zone. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> um, yes, and if you guys are wondering, this point here is accessible via tanky, so you don't actually have to do something special to get up here. I reckon artillery and TDs will possibly be up there. I reckon at least one scumbag will try getting up there. If you if you know what I'm talking about, uh, Rex, aim to your right. You should see the smat. Oh, that, there, that okay. hill there. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can access that point if Rex is all you'd like to demonstrate. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you're a fast tank. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Yes, you can access that, and if you were a TD, like if you're a TD player like myself, um, and as Rex as well, because he plays TD as well, I, I reckon am, you could I get. Have, um, I've got TDs. Uh, yes, uh, very much so. Um, you can access that point. It does take a little bit of time to get up there, but once you're in position, yeah, yeah. you if actually you have, have some very good, good cover. Engine power, then you're pretty sorted. There's not a lot of foliage. I'll give you that. From yeah, up here. but that said, that you can said, get can a couple of good see shots. You. Um, actually, there's foliage down here, and I can still see you, so that's good. Can you? Do you have any good shots to the left-hand uh, cliff entrance? Which which one? Left-hand side. The left. I got thing. I got shots every entrance on that cliff. I can. Okay, see cool. Um, I'm just noticing that um, we've only got three minutes before the game time runs out. Ah, okay. So let's right. wrap it up. Yep. Okay. So the last bit we're going to go to before um, we end the, before the map time ends is over here on the other side of the map. Um, it was the other side, the other side of the bridge. Now, I reckon a few people will try and cross these two bridges, but I yeah. I doubt it severely. Um, yeah, that is side, a bad idea. On the other side, there isn't as much oh, in the way of cover for Ooh, town, uh. um, but there is, there is still an angst feeling about it. You've got non-destructible buildings. You've got a water tower for which maybe someone might take a firing position. Um, yeah, Sturm Tiger. Sturm Tiger is over there. Um, you've got a communist thing over here. This water tower may yield some impress. This may this may yield someone if they can snipe. I mean, as I'm backing up to it now, I am actually getting quite a nice shot from here. So I reckon a couple of players may get lucky with a few <laughs> shots, but I wouldn't. I there's wouldn't a lot of. Um, there's actually from if you're coming from your side and you hide there, you've got all the enemy bases. Like you've got a whole. Nice True, line. but then you're incredibly you're inc incredibly yeah you are incredibly ex exposed. <laughs> yeah. Plus, also, you've got all those people on the other side. That's so, scouting, maybe. I don't know. Eh, maybe. But, yeah, generally speaking, that is the map of Selena Vagorsk. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it's been... It is... Okay, before we go, uh, what, are your, what are your overall summary of this map? Do you uh, like it? Do you not like it? Definitely scout, fast, medium. Um, you, 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 if you've got good maneuverability and a average good gun, you will be able to own on this map, pretty much. Um, TDs and heavy tanks will have to play defensively more than anything. Mm. I, I think. I Gun bags, meh. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I, I definitely agree. You know. What a noob. <laughs> 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 uh, yes. So that is the map, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you agree. Hope you got a like this. If you agree and um, you enjoy all that stuff, feel free to let me know by liking on my video, clicking to subscribe for more content. And uh, generally, if you like it, if you like it. Um, also, I will send you a link to um, Vic Rexasaur's channel because he oh, is an awesome you. friend and he is very friendly. 
An awesome friend who's very friendly. Yes, Yay. that that makes total sense. My brain is trying to work at this moment. Now, I will send you a link because he does. Um, he I don't. He, I think he. I don't think he can record live battle stuff like like I can. But um, but he does do I replay. I have recorded several um, re re sort of tank reviews, but with replays. So. With replays, yes, exactly. Yep. Um, he also does Crusader Kings 2, so if you are a fan yep. of Crusader Kings, then by all means go for and it. And Skyrim! <laughs> oh, you finally Roll got play. your Skyrim going. Roleplay, first episode this Friday. Woo. I'm supposed Ooh. to do the advertisements here, not you. Um, you? <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. This is Crap Hunter and Rex signing off. Say bye, Rex. Bye! Bye. See you later, guys.